Hi everyone, Dan here from NMAX. <laughs> um, I was having issues with my tripod, so the camera is off the tripod, off the other tripod, so that's why I'm, I got it here. It's, it's installed, trust me, this is the way to go today. I have happy mail to share with you today, so uh, stick around if you wanna see what I got. So I got happy mail, and uh, this is the box. That I got from this company Coats and Red Heart. They're uh, the same company and I know the stuff I got is from Red Heart. So here's all my, all my invoices. And by the way, um, Red Heart sent me this stuff uh, for free with uh, no other obligation uh, than, you know, to use it. So I thought I would just share the happy mail with you. And uh, the reason a red heart sent me this is because I have a book that I was asked to review from a publisher. And uh, it's a crochet book. And I asked if they would send me one, one ball of this yarn for a project that I wanted to make because I couldn't find this color in the store. So I'll show it to you. This is the yarn I asked for. I wanted the ball of Super Saver and Ombre and it's like a self-striping yarn and it is, it is, it is 10 ounces, 283 grams. It uses, they recommend using uh, five millimeter or, yeah, five, it recommends using five millimeter needles or eight US or the 40 inch long circulars. And this is a medium weight four yarn. So yes, here the recommendations are uh, five, 5.5 or an I9 um, or 8 US size. 5 millimeter needle, knitting needle, 8 US, 5.5 millimeter crochet. So that's all the information that's here. This is the pretty color. And so I, I just asked them because I, um, I've i met them and I've worked with them before. I just said, oh, <laughs> could you send me this one ball because I, I I would like it to try a project that this book I'm reviewing. And they said, sure. And can we send you some other yarns? Well, am I gonna say no? Of course not. So uh, I got all of this. So they actually sent me two of the ombre. And I'm pretty sure that they send it to me in, in this quantity because it's probably how it's packed in the uh, the warehouse and it just makes things easier for them so the other yarn I got I apologize there will be crinkling I can't help it there are bags they were the crinkly kind too so there will be a little bit of crinkling I will try to pause the video in between the opening of the crinkling I got the scrubby cotton by Red Heart I'm gonna open it now I got several balls of this and it is scrubby. It's really neat, but it's cotton. It's a cotton scrubby yarn. This is great for making like um, sponges and dishcloths, uh, things that you're gonna maybe even, you know, like a loofah type sponges. And, and that's what they show here. They, they have some, I think there's a pattern on the back. Yeah, there's a pattern here on the back to make, I think these are like little hand towels or washcloths. So that's the idea and it's, it's kind of fun. It's blissful print. It's really like, it's got all this texture. And again, this is multicolored so it will create stripes on its own once you crochet or knit it. I've got this to try. And this is 
all new stuff that they have, by the way. So here I got this, this is really neat, this roll of It's a Wrap. I did see these at Creativation and they had this, a display of these. Uh, it was a really pretty display on the wall. Uh, this is a combination of cotton and acrylic 50-50. It's nice. Uh, it's pretty thin actually. And it's a wrap. I think this is the one where there's just enough in here to make a, a wrap like a, over your shoulders. And if I'm not mistaken, it will self-stripe, just similar to what's in the pattern here. So it's really, really neat. So it looks like there's three colored yarns, but it's one yarn and it just self-stripes uh, or makes the, the different layers of color. It's really neat. And this one is, the recommendations are a 2.75, so a small, a knitting needle or a number two US knitting needle and for the crochet it's a recommendation of a 3.25 millimeter or a D3 and this is a super fine one so I don't use a lot of super fine I find it a little hard to work with super fine yarns but I was willing to try this because it's brand new and I was really intrigued by how exactly this works this three shades so don't hold your breath because I'm a slow knitter. But uh, yeah, I'll be trying this out. And this, oh, I've tried some of their chic sheep. This stuff is amazing. Um, now this is the chic sheep. It is merino wool. It is so so soft it is amazing and it is machine washable so you machine wash on the cold uh in cold water uh gentle cycle and you dry it flat so it's a machine washable merino wool it's amazing it is so soft not scratchy at all i've played with a sample of it already and uh I said, well, please, if you want to send me yarns, these are the colors I really like. I like the pink and, and such. So that's what, uh, that's why they sent me this. And uh, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful pink. And they also sent me some of the white here. So the pink, sorry, is actually called Fairy Tail. And it is. I'm trying to find. Yeah, it's fairy tale. It is a medium weight for yarn. And it, the recommendations are a crochet size of five millimeter and a knitting needle size of five millimeter as well, or eight US. And this is a nice yarn that uh, they have. And the other one that they sent me, just like it, that looks like a white. It also has a nice name. It is called Lace. So this one is their Lace. So nice. And this one, another three pack, is called Hopscotch. If I can open this to get some scissors. And finally, the hopscotch. So this again is another self-striping yarn. And oh, it's amazing. I love the colors. It's gorgeous. And this one is <laughs> hula hoop. So it's <laughs> It's these pinks and corals, and there's some blue in there, and a little bit of violet. It's really, really pretty. And uh, this one is a, a size a four medium, and the recommendations are a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, 
and a I or an I9. And uh, the knitting needle recommendation size is five millimeter or eight US. So hula hoop. And yeah, like I said, self-striping yarn. Now, the reason I have a lot of self-striping yarn is not only is that uh, new, the, some of, these are some of the new yarns they have at Red Heart, but the book I'm reviewing is about working with uh, self-striping yarns. So I look forward to playing with these. As I said before, do not hold your breath as I am a slow knitter and crochet. And I already have uh, intentions for this this yarn first for a project. So uh, keep your eyes and ears opened uh, or peeled or whatever because uh, yeah, if I if I'm successful at making these, <laughs> I will show show them to you somewhere on my social media, maybe on YouTube here. Uh, most possibly on Instagram if I ever get it finished <laughs> and yeah and look for my book review uh, to come in the next month or so all right so that's my happy meal for today I hope you liked this video if you did I would so appreciate a thumbs up please like comment share don't forget to subscribe below there and uh, until next time stay crafty bye